Hey guys, I'm having coffee in my Jeep because um, I've been out and about all day today and I'm about to go pick up the kids from kindy and go home. Um, but first, I wanted to pop in because, and if there's loud cars around me, I will close the door. Um, because I did a question in my Instagram stories the other day and a frequent I got like three or four people respond with the exact same thing and I can't remember what the question was but <laughs> what people were answering and what they were telling me was that I just I want more people in my area to know that I exist like how can I I think it was like what are you focusing on right now or what kind of result you want right now and it was um yeah how do I, how do I get more people to know that my business exists because it's a really common um, issue that a lot of uh, small businesses have, especially new businesses. Like um, if you're there watching live, comment below and say hello so I know um, who's there or if you've got a new business, how, how old is it? Um, how new is it? Um, but like getting your name out there sometimes people get stuck with knowing how to do that and you know way back in the day hi Haley um, way back in the day <laughs> when I when I started my little home salon um, when I was 21 um, it was yeah like the 15 years ago or something now um, you know everyone was doing flyer drops and people still do flyer drops and they um, print out all these flyers on Vistaprint and they walk around. Oh, I've got 10% left of my battery. Okay, I'll be a quick one for this. I could go on forever. They um, walk around their streets or they go and introduce themselves to other businesses and they give out all of these flyers. And you might spend hours designing the flyer, maybe hundreds of dollars printing the flyer, and then hours of your life walking around delivering the flyers and thinking it's a pretty effective way of um, growing your business. But, but, I was thinking about this one day when I was doing it and I was like, I don't even know who lives in these houses. Like, are these the kind of people that will come to my business? Really? I, is this a good use of my time and money? I don't know. Um, and then, <laughs> it's like, whatever, I kept going. <laughs> and, um then you know when social media kind of started getting really big and Instagram came out and Facebook came out because I started way back when MySpace it was MySpace I started my business with um, marketing and got pretty busy with it though and I've oh got I'm feeling really old right now um, <laughs> and then when you were started to be able to advertise and do targeting and stuff like it was all pretty basic in the beginning um, hi Samantha who else is watching hi Tamara um, and I realized that not many people were using the advertising function. A lot of people were really skeptical about it and like boosted posts and ads and uh, a lot of people still are very skeptical about it. But let me, let me trade it to you this way. Let's say you did some kind of online fly or special offer for new clients. Um, that's an image and a written post instead of all of the text on one page and you don't print it you post it on your page and then instead of spending however much money and however much time um, you know printing out the printed things and then walking around delivering them or paying someone else to deliver them you can literally just like post that on your page and then like a boost boost it for like a minimum of a dollar to two dollars a day five dollars a day if you want even better results and Facebook will go and deliver it to people for you um, or Instagram you can run it on Instagram and Facebook but the best thing is you can get selective with who it shows up in front of so you're not putting it in old people's houses if old people are not your ideal client not that there's anything wrong with old people but I know that like the 80 year old lady on my street was not going to come in and get a spray tan probably um, <laughs> so does that kind of make sense and then I started thinking about it like that so if you want more people to know you exist Obviously, you want to do it in a really great way. You have to think about, well, what's going to be a good Im good first impression for people too? Because sometimes when you just go straight in with like a really direct, really blunt offer and you're just focused on like book now kind of thing, like maybe that's not what people want to see from you on the very first impression. So, you know, start thinking about your 
ideal clients or like the majority of the type of people that come and see you um, what drew them to you the first time that they came in hi Kyla um, for me it was most new clients would come and get spray tans and I had like a discount for their first one and I would run little ads um, targeting people who were like my ideal clients which were like between the ages of 18 to 25 typically girls within 10 to 15 kilometers of my area um, with these kind of posts that were designed to give them you know a special new client offer or opportunity um, and and that's you, it's such a simple way to allow people to know who you are if you do it in a really good way you have really great text really great copy really great message really great images then you're going to make an awesome first impression as well if you go straight in like too blunt um, too self-focused not really focused on the client or what's in it for them then you can turn people off um, advertising is definitely a part of building your brand and reputation as well because people are either going to say oh my god I hate their ads or oh my god I love their ads you know um, and if you want people in your area to know you and think good things about you then you obviously want your marketing to do really well so um, yeah that that's what I did that's what I've now been you know teaching and helping other people to do for a really long time um, I have an abundance of ad templates and instructions and scripts already written that have worked so well for so many of my clients um, and I am about to relaunch or launch a brand new proven profits templates version 2 very very soon so I did want to let you know that that's coming as well um, because I have like so many ads that I've written and tested over the last couple of years and so I'm turning them into templates and um, making them available for people um, Kyla said how do you finesse the offer when you're in a new area well <clears throat> that's something that will depend on each individual business and product and service and not really something I can answer in a live stream unfortunately which is why I have the, um, the programs that I've created um, but the real kind of the most important part is that you know who you're talking to and you know what they want and you write it in a way that is um, for them not about you if that makes sense so you're talking to the person if you're going to write an ad actually this is just a great tip for everybody with all social media posts in general the person who is reading your post or the person that is seeing your ad is the person that you know you should be writing your ad as if you're talking to someone not talking about yourself let that one sink in so <laughs> because someone else is reading it so instead of saying like we do this we do that us 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 me 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 you should be saying things like are you this are you that if you want this if you want this if you want to feel like this if you want to look like this etc that's just a really great um little copywriting tip for you because the reader is the person that the focus should be on um yeah okay that's what i came in here to kind of share about just basically i wanted to get across the the point that if you want like it's so easy it's so easy and it's so affordable for you to use social media ads specifically um, Instagram Facebook whichever works for you you can run ads just on Instagram you can run ads just on Facebook um, you can run ads in stories you can do story ads you can do um, ads that show up in marketplace you can do ads that show up in messenger um, you can choose all of the different locations that you want your ads to show up in either all of them or just on one of them or whatever it's, it's just really cool so um yeah I wanted to come in here in case anybody's kind of feeling like that second guessing themselves and obviously if you do want help I have templates and courses and programs available that I have created to make you money <laughs> with your ads but I'm not telling you how to sign up right now today I'm just telling you that it's coming because I'm still putting the final touches on it and it's gonna be amazing um, but yeah I'm gonna go pick up my kitties finish my coffee on the drive home and if you have any other questions actually please ask in the comments of this video whether you're watching live or the replay um, so that I can make sure I cover them for you okay Mwah. have a great afternoon bye